Hey y'all, this is Rochelle, aka Shelly Witt. I'm just home and um, relaxing after showering and uh, recovering from my workout. It was an arm day and uh, I'm here to give you an overview of how the workout went and to tell you my featured black owned fitness businesses for this video. But before we get into it, make sure that you like this video. Liking the video helps elevate it in the algorithm and lets more people see it. Make sure that you share this video so people can directly see it so they can um, have a positive influence in their fitness and health. Make sure that you comment below. Let me know that you're watching. Let me know that it helps. If you have any questions, requests, or um, suggestions, I'd love to hear from you and talk with you and make sure that you subscribe look at my old videos catch up on my new videos as I post and um, that way you can gain all the benefits of my journey and my fitness journey you can learn from my mistakes and my successes as I go through this so uh, today was a pretty good day it was tough actually getting to the gym yesterday I cheated pretty hard as far as like my meal plan um, I actually just took like a whole meal off but it was pretty serious like it was heavy calories it was all ingredients that I normally wouldn't eat I got a milkshake with Oreo and caramel y'all and some pizza and um one other thing I had one other thing that I can't think of this very second but um yeah I had two slices of pizza I had a milkshake and like another side <laughs> and um so that was very different from what I've been eating recently with my wraps and stuff you'll see at the end of the video what I'm going to be doing for the next couple days it was just one meal and I stayed committed to it um so I stopped by the grocery store and got some clean stuff for the rest of the week and uh, I'll be doing some shopping and prepping the end of the week um but yeah, I had a cheat meal yesterday, so it kind of like hit me this morning. And as I was purchasing the food, I don't know if anybody else has like a, you know, fear of getting off the wagon because it's going to be hard to get back on. So as I was like purchasing the food, I'm like, yeah, I kind of had a little bit of progress, but did I have enough progress to feel secure in a small cheat or a serious cheat, quote unquote, from my plan? Like to deviate, am I still going to get back on the wagon tomorrow? So um, yesterday I was nervous and then like it did hit me this morning I crossed my mind like you know I could just go on Wednesday you know my trainer friend is not even there today so I could just go on Wednesday but I was like heck no um, so I started watching a whole bunch of fitness clips through Instagram and uh, YouTube to get some motivation and I saw this one lady with a baby on her back in a a fitness class and that was enough for me I'm like one day I want to be that mother that sets that example and uh, doesn't make excuses but you know reaps the rewards and, and shares them and so if I'm gonna be that mother then I got to get there and I got to put the work in so I went on there this afternoon I had an arm day um, I did my regular routine except I had more dumbbells this time <coughs> excuse me um jump rope for a warm-out um, because my friend suggested cardio before and after actually for opening and closing. So that's what I did today. Cardio for a warm up and a little bit of dancing for a uh, warm down, I guess. Not really a cool down, but a warm down. Um, for my arms, I did uh, the pull up, assisted pull up machine in four different positions. Then we went to the cables. We did uh, presses and curls. And then we went to the dumbbells and I did some curls. I did some uh, overhead press. I did some uh, chest flies. I did some back rows. I can't believe I've almost forgot those because those were killer. I haven't done them in a minute. And I did them with some heavier weight uh, for me. But I did. I did some back rows. Um, so it was a pretty good arm workout, pretty thorough, and um, it was fun. So make sure you guys stay tuned, watch all the moves, um, know that I did three sets of everything and a minimum of 10 for each set. Um, and uh, without further ado, I'm just going to let you know my black fitness businesses and uh, let you get to watching the workout. So the two fitness businesses that I'm going to feature today are on the west coast um one is in renton washington 
and it's called Spoon Fed Training. It's owned by Latanya Witherspoon. Um, so I'm going to link her Instagram below. Make sure that you go follow her, check out her website, check out her training. If you're in the Renton area in Washington, make sure you go get a membership, go get your health right, go get your training in and support a black owned fitness business. We need to network more on our health and our wellness within our community. And the second, um, business on the west coast that i'm featuring is true action fit true action fit is owned by alondra chapman and it's in palo alto california so make sure that you check out her instagram it's going to be linked below um she has a personal page as well as the uh gym page so make sure that you go there she uh her body is amazing and it looks like she trains in posing as well so like just go check out her page if you're interested um, and make sure that you share these women and their uh, fitness businesses as well. And um, I hope that this is beneficial to somebody. Let me know in the comments any suggestions, any questions, any pointers for me um, to guide me along the way. I know that, you know, we started out together with me on like a meal prep 30 day journey and I fell off around 22 days and restarted. Um, so I know everybody's kind of like looking for a whole cycle, um, but I don't have like a, a 30 day or a 60 day or a 90 day structure right now. I'm just doing the three days a week of the gym that I'm committed to and um, having the most simplistic meal plan um, because before I go, I want to mention that I'm still doing the last six courses of my bachelor's degree and y'all, I'm 32 years old. Uh, I'm back in school after a whole bunch of life searching and mistake making and lesson learning. So, um, you know, this last part is really crucial. Um, and it, it is a little bit of pressure. I thought it would be like, you know, like senior year of high school. It's like, oh, I've already learned everything. Let me just whiz through this, throw the paper and get my A and go home, you know, and it's not like that. It's actually the hardest classes. And um, I'm really having a difficult time absorbing the information, partially because I'm so excited to be this close to the end after all these years that I'm already thinking about post-graduation thoughts, like, you know, um, my outfit to wear for graduation, my photos afterward and how I'm gonna do my LinkedIn profile. I'm like all the way months from now when I need to be in my class, in my books, absorbing these last concepts so I can prepare for my career. But y'all pray for me and um, any suggestions you have on that too, you know, throw them in the comments. All right. But uh, that's all for today. I hope that you enjoyed these upcoming workout clips and God bless you guys. I'll talk to you later. Deuces. It's honey.
Cause you call me by my name The love you give me I just can't deny No longer blinded I can see I'm on my way to meet you We gotta talk, you know All these trials and tribulations Got me tired, I need rest And I heard that I can come to you When weary of my flesh You awake me from death God, I need you I'm more walking by the flesh, that's when I leave you God told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone, told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone, told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone, No, I'm a child of God I wanna go to Godly way, close to your love again I give my heart again, Jesus I wanna go to Cali way, close to your love again. I give my heart again, Jesus. I know you know me well. I feel invisible until you tell me you're right here. I cancel plans with you to be with sin and break your heart. Sometimes I go to you for what you give, not who you are. I wonder if you leave for me. God, just tell me what you need for me. Is the Holy Spirit still in me? God, I'm asking you for clarity Even though you told me already God told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Told me I'm, told me I'm Told me I'm someone Told me I'm someone Know that I'm someone No, I'm a child of God told us so familiar they will haunt you they will kill you keep you hostage king will heal you before him adore him he will give you everything come and take you can't keep going, going back to what i used to know but please hold my Going back to what I used to know But please hold my hand as I go down this road Can't keep going
We ourselves grown inward As eagerly we await to be Adopted as God's yeah. children Redeemed And by this hope we have been saved But who can praise God from the
y'all so i just wanted to come really quick and tell you what i got for the next couple days um so for uh the 27th 8th and 29th of february i didn't really have anything left in the fridge so i stopped at the store really quick and grabbed some stuff um i was running out of these wraps or getting the last of them and so i grabbed another pack i considered a different brand i was gonna um I just price checked and um, basically it was exactly the same price for another popular brand but um, I liked the integrity of these like the um, the fact that they kind of held the liquid from the meat and the dressing and they didn't break apart they were uh, firm but not hard they were chewy obviously you can see they're flexible they're all bent up in there so um, they were good so for a, a, a low carb wrap i'm just gonna stick with this brand even if they probably change the price just for the quality of it because the other brand i know for a fact is like a lot softer and um is definitely going to fall apart if i put anything moist in it and um, i'm not a dry kind of wrap girl i grabbed this because this was on sale um, last time i did the veggie lovers garden salad and uh, spinach um two for five i think and this was on sale for two for three what i was looking at uh pretty much everything in the other salad bags looked like it needed to be sold today <laughs> or probably yesterday so um since i was already kind of looking at like end of the week salads i said it wasn't really smart to spend too much more money on it and it's only for the next couple days um, I grabbed these shrimp because uh, I wanted something less to cook on um, and they were also cheaper per pound than they normally are. They're typically $9.99 a pound so when I saw them on $7.99 or $7.99 a pound I grabbed two containers so I can uh, put some in the freezer for later um, and uh, I got some with Old Bay because that's you know I'm an Atlantic City girl uh south jersey girl we eat our seafood with old bay i don't know about anywhere else but you know ask uh, maryland ask rhode island massachusetts <laughs> pretty much from virginia up we we don't mind our old bay on our seafood okay so i got my shrimp and um then i just had some tofu left over i think i already showed you guys this but i had some tofu left over so this is going to be my breakfast protein more than likely this will be my lunch protein and then i was considering getting some frozen salmon because it was cheaper per pound but honestly speaking i love the texture and flavor of fresh baked salmon so much um or either sushi salmon but particularly when i'm making it at home you know fresh baked salmon that it was worth the extra expense per pound for me. This particular cut looked like it was um, weighed in pretty lightly. The other ones were 20 plus. So I just went on and grabbed this one. Also, I'm a skin girl, so I didn't want the uh, boneless and skinless fillets. I did want the little bit of crisp of skin. So like I said, the texture is one of my favorites, but I went on and grabbed this. I'll portion this and this will be my dinner. So tofu scramble wraps. Cause it's basically just three wraps a day for the next three days i'm keeping it super simple breakfast wrap lunch wrap dinner wrap that's what we're doing all right i'll talk to you guys later almost forgot this dressing was on sale got this last time pretty decent calorie count um and i already wanted to taste a green goddess dressing this one's avocado avocado green goddess so it was just convenient i don't have a blender or a food processor to make my, processor to make my own so this is what I got.